Hi there, I'm Mary Susie from Read Me a Story. Thanks so much for checking out my video blog this week. I am introducing or reintroducing my unbalanced bead chain. And this time I'm showing it to you in three different ways. So I have these three versions in, in just silver and rose gold. You can see there's another version up here. I just wanted to make sure that you understood that you can do any kind of beads you want. You can do any kind of colors you want. Uh, but basically what's happening here is with this version, the beads are on the outside. With this version, which was by Sue Padat, the beads are sitting on top and they kind of alternate back and forth on top. And with this one, all the beads are sitting on the inside. This is the exact same chain. We're just doing three different things with it, all using seed beads. So these are the more micro versions of this bracelet. And now I'm going to show you the uh, standard size version of this. Okay, so here is the standard size version of the unbalanced bead chain. Um, I actually love this one because it uses the Matubo three cut beads in it and they're really beautiful. So when I did this the first time around, I put these out earlier this year, I was trying to make this bracelet. And what happened was I was using the 18 gauge jump rings and this got really stiff and I wasn't able to continue. So this weave definitely taught me a very important lesson, which was that there is no reason to stick with the same gauge of jump ring wire. So all of these new ones, and I've also gone ahead and updated these kits as well. All of these new projects have a 19 gauge jump ring in them, making it much easier to get the bead on no matter what you're doing. And I want you to keep that in mind whenever you're doing beaded chain mail, that you don't have to stick with all the same jump ring sizes that you always do. You can always, for example, go from like I did here, an 18 gauge, and I have 19 gauge jump rings running along the outside. I even could have gone to 20. So if I have some great big beads that I want to put out here, and they're going to really fill up the space, I can always move to a 20 gauge 532nd jump ring in order to accommodate that bead size. But in this case, all we needed to do was just make that simple shift. These didn't need it, but I just thought it was safer as I moved on to some more colors to go ahead do them in the 19 gauge and then it would be easy for everyone to make. This is a free video out there to do this one. The other projects, the video will come with it when you purchase the kit. And um, so, you know, go ahead and check this one out. It's a lot of fun and um, I think you're going to have a great time making it. So thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you next time.